This is a Windows Phone 7 game review of Mini Squadron, which is available in the marketplace for $2.99 and is an Xbox Live game title. So the truth is, this really shouldn't be an Xbox Live game title. There's a ton of problems with it. It has frame rate issues as you play. It's not Mango enabled, so each time you resume it, it doesn't resume straight to the game, and it also doesn't resume your progress inside the level, which is really crappy. You have to restart from the beginning of the level. So, overall, it's just a really sad game. And if they fixed the frame rate issues and made it Mango enabled, it'd definitely be a lot better. The gameplay is really addicting, and it's quite fun, and there's plenty of challenges thanks to all the different types of planes, and all the different weapons, all different elements, so many different weapons, and you can actually stall your plane there, the enemies can stall your plane. As you can see, some of the enemies are completely different, like those really follow you quite well, so you have to really adapt different gameplay styles in order to beat them. So, overall, it is a really fun game, but there's simple things, like the frame rate will just completely be destroyed as you play the game. And every time the song restarts there, there's a big frame rate gap there, and it freezes for a whole second, which just makes the game unplayable, and you wouldn't expect this from a Xbox Live title that's supposed to be really good. There's games that aren't Xbox Live titles that have better visuals and everything than this. It's just sad that the frame rate is so terrible. It makes the game unplayable at many sections. Nevertheless, the lasting value is really good, and you have all these different levels here. Completing them will take between an hour or two hours. And for me, it was closer to two hours, because there are some levels that are extremely difficult. And the cool thing is that you have all these different planes, too, to play with. And the music in the game is pretty neat, too. So as you play, you unlock all those planes, and each one is completely different. Like, some have lasers as weapons, they have different reload times, different turning rate, different weaknesses, armor, speeds. They're all completely unique, so it makes it really exciting. The enemy AI is also pretty good and makes for a really good challenge. And there's extras like those big lasers and other things that will drop down from the sky. And you'll occasionally get hearts that drop down that you can collect. And much more. Invincibility, um, invisibility, everything. So it keeps the game really exciting. Overall, this is a good game. But due to those frame rate issues, it's really a pain sometimes and can really destroy the experience. And the fact that it's Mango enabled simply isn't excusable at this point. Mango has been out for so long and it's just ridiculous that it's not Mango enabled. So for those reasons, I'd recommend not buying the game. You can find a lot better games than this and they're not Xbox Live for $2.99. Nevertheless, you can find Mini Squadron in the marketplace for $2.99.